Hey guys, so in our previous tutorial, we have learned how to create a Node.js project in Visual Studio IDE and we have also learned how to install different kinds of models by making use of npm install and we have also installed uh, Express.js and other kinds of package uh, you can see and we have also learned uh, how to create a server in Node.js and we have also uh, gave a proper structure for our Node.js project uh, by creating folder in our previous tutorial that is the second part so this is the third part so in the in the third part we are going to learn how to get connected to our mongodb database okay so let's get started okay so to get connected to mongodb database we are going to make use of a library or a module called as mongol okay so we have already installed it in our previous tutorial that is first part so you can see mongoose is been installed so if you have not installed then you can just make use of npm i and then the model name that is mongoose okay so just enter this command and hit enter and the package will get installed the latest version okay so now let's get connected to our mongodb database by making use of mongoose okay so for that the mongodb database configuration will be done in this config folder okay so here uh, create a file that is uh, javascript file and name it as db.js or you can name it anything okay so first of all let me show you my mongo's mongodb compose uh, that has been installed in my operating system that is windows so you can see this is the url to get connected to my local mongodb database okay i can just connect and you can see this are the database that has been created by me okay so to this database i want to connect by making use of my uh, backend code okay okay so here first of all we need to import our mongoose library so const mongoose so we are going to make use of require to import the library import mongoose okay okay so now let's make use of this instance and create a database connectivity so for that uh, const connect connection is equal to mongoose dot create connection okay so this is the inbuilt functions to get connected to our mongodb database and here you need to pass the url of our database connectivity okay so if we go to our uh, mongodb compose you can see this is the url to get connected to my local database okay so you just need to pass it over here okay and then uh, to use this connectivity string anywhere in our uh, project you can you need to install uh, import it so you can just make use of module dot export is equal to connection okay so to check if our mongodb connection was successful or no you can just make use of its function that is on function and here uh, there is a property called as open so if our database get connected successfully so this function will get called and you can just print a log over here okay so i'm just printing a log as uh, mongodb connected okay and if suppose if there is an error in database connectivity you, uh, you can just print the error okay so here on error and here we can just use a function and let's print an error okay so this is all you need to do to get connected to our mongodb database okay so let's check this if it is working or no so what all you need to do is you just need to import this file in our index.js okay so import it const db is equal to require dot configuration one second yeah configuration dot dot db dot js okay that's it okay so now if i run npm 
run div okay so you can see it is showing an error app crash so let me check it okay so it is saying already in used i think so the port 3000 is in used okay so now let me try npm okay so you can see server has been created but i got a database connectivity issue i think so okay uh, so i think i cannot use this local host so i need to give a local host ip address so our local host ip address will be to 127.0.0.1 okay so now if i save the file and restart my uh, code you can see mongodb database connected okay so that's all for this video tutorial so in our second uh, next part that is fourth part we are going to create a database schema uh, database schema model uh, for user where a user will be able to register and log in through it by making use of the database okay so let's meet in our fourth part